you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, doing work with the jab. Raises the guard to block the strike and now counters with a straight punch. So defense into offense there out of the longer fight. Oh, that body kick landed. Missed with that attempt. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar cut. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just head hunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Nice kick to the body. Now lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Establishing the jab here. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Keep moving forward. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice combination there. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. On point with that jab today. Oh, about the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. It's time to look for that takedown now. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Big power shot there. Get those Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, roundhouse kick. Another nice kick there. Solid 
series of kicks. They're all landing now. Just out of range with that strike. Man, he has a great double leg. Oh, goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Round two straight ahead. This is a really close fight. we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Big shot to the head. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Both of them landed there. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Straight punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another two employ. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. one coming. All right, so there it is. Yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John. And you could think that he's setting him up to go up top. Or, honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes it. Two minutes now to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round.
fighter connects there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, the kick landed. Doing a really good job of throwing those leg kicks. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Going to the knee strike now. Nice loop and punch. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Looking to time that counter kick. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful if he's looking for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling starting. Right punch is good. The left also flush. Body shot. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes. And really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Oh, that looks like some head trauma. Beautiful combination. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, 
Well, missed on that one. Got the hook in quickly. And follows up with another one. Leg kick checked by Lee. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Another strike gets through from the top position. Making all these shots count. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch are starting to land from the top position. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Well, he needs some Motrin in the morning, but at least in terms of the present, he's got to figure out a way to stop these body shots and get back in the fight. This is bad. The only way for him to stay up right is to get a takedown. He takes one or two more of these body shots. He's going to go down. And honestly, he's as tough as they come. But you should not have to rely that much on your toughness. You got to do something different. Straight right is there. Connects now with the one-two. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Both fighters throwing heat now. What a round. Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen up. You're fine. Everything is good, okay? I know you can do better than this. Listen, I need you to get out there and... All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. All right, keep pushing forward. Let's go. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Good jab there by the champion. He's got the single collar tie. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other guys. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Back and forth we go. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice punch to the head. Oh, lands another hook. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Just over three minutes to go. Inside leg kick. 
Big kick lands. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Beautiful strike. Leg kick lands. Connects with a beautiful jab. Oh, huge Superman punch. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Oh, nice kick. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Well, there's no denying his toughness, but how much damage to the body can one man take? At some point, the referee's got to get involved, I would think. Well, someone, I mean, this guy's as tough as they come, and his toughness is, is, is really showing right now. But should it really have to? That's the question now. Someone should save this man from himself. Beautiful head kick man. Nice punch lands over the top. Big shot to the body. Oh, nice. Under a minute now to go in this one. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Beautiful left hand. 20 seconds to go. Clean punch. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Big right oh. hook there by Chan. Oh. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken Ready far fight. too many. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Really good emphasis on that kick there. Able to check the high kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Head strikes. Roundhouse kick. Just misses with that one. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. 
nice hook lands. Back and forth we go. It's big body kick. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Beautifully placed in time, knee there by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Push kick there to the body. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least if you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights, but when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at him. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Blinked it a little bit, tried to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Lee's able to land another strike right there, right on the previously damaged nose. No surprise to see the fighter continue to attack that part of the opposition. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Punch to the body is blocked. What an absolute war it has been. Probably going to hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Nice jab. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 45, 49 46, and 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living.